Hey everybody, Low Trip Dave here coming at you from American Coaster Enthusiast Winter Warm-Up here at Carowinds for 2019. Let's check this out. All right, my roadies, let's get this started. But first, before we do, make sure you choke slam the like button for this video, leave a comment, and share it with others. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to know when I post new videos and live streams. And last but not least, don't forget to go to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with the links in the description below. As you can tell, we went to the winter warm-up event in an empty Carowinds Park, which I thought was incredible. It was held in Harmony Hall, which is behind the Camp Snoopy store here. American Coaster Enthusiasts, or ACE for short, meet in different parks every year. And for this year, they met in Carowinds to really know what's going on with some of the different amusement parks around the country. ACE has different regional meetups in the Southeast and the Midwest, and they do a lot of coaster ride events as well. Here we're looking at all the regional amusement park opening dates. We also can get a preview of upcoming rides and themes that are going on, such as this park here, Alabama Adventure and Splash Adventure. Show me the free fall. We're gonna start with the galleon here. <laughs> right. The rides come first, right? It's necessary to put that ride in. Um, we are going to be advertising that as one of our new water slide attractions. Water slide, water slide is going to be coming in. So that picture right up there is what it will look like right around the free fall. Let's check out this preview from the representative at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Beautiful to begin with. And then gliding over that water, I'll just step back so I'm not blocking you the entire time. So it is a single rail coaster. You are sit sitting single file. We have three trains and a continuous load station, which three, sta three trains and that station were definitely a necessity for this particular coaster to keep the capacity where we wanted it. But I was really impressed with Six Flags Fiesta Texas presentation with that Wonder Woman roller coaster, which looked awesome. They also showed previews of this dark ride, Pirates of the Deep Sea, which looks amazing incorporating technology from rides like Buzz Lightyear's Ranger Spin. The park rep also showed us a preview of the third year running of their Mardi Gras parade, which looks great. This thing arrived at the park, we saw it set up, and I had serious doubts about it actually being able to fit through those midways. But they were right, it fit perfectly, and it is awesome. A little yes. chaos, which I think when all is said and done, you're going to see that it fits the ride much better than the original name did, but this is the world's tallest pendulum ride at a staggering 172 feet tall. Six Flags Fiesta Texas is also going to be boasting the world's tallest pendulum ride, and I thought this was just incredible. Not only that, but after previewing the holiday events at the park, check out what they give us. They give us a free admission ticket for the entire year, as well as fast lane passes for all the big rides at the park. I was truly impressed. Next, we got to hear from the Six Flags representative for the park in Georgia. She actually gave us a rundown of different attractions from around the country, and then focused mainly over Six Flags over Georgia. Let's take a look at one of the big swing rides, similar to the one in Texas. Um, you've gotta be 52 inches to ride, um, and it carries 40 riders. So Pandemonium is a new swing ride that's going to be part of a larger land edition called Scream Punk. As you can see, it's under construction here. And she actually gave us a good description of what the Scream Punk area is going to be like. It's actually pretty creative and pretty cool. Scream Punk is actually a Six Flags twist on the modern steampunk genre. And it mixes modern mechanics, um, whimsical designs, um, and steam-powered machinery. 
The next theme park that presented was Dollywood. Here is the president talking to us and presenting a brand new land that's coming to this theme park called Wildwood Grove. Welcome to Wildwood Grove. Dollywood's new land is a fantastical adventure filled with 11 uniquely themed family experiences. There are more places to explore and ways to play that take imagination to a whole new level. Timber Canyon inside Dollywood. Just like the Smokies, Wildwood Grove is home to towering trees, except the trees inside Wildwood Grove are perfect for some family fun. Imagine as you enter the grove, you will find Treetop Tower. Visiting guests soar through the sky on a lofty leaf canopy as it spins and soars overhead before gently drifting. What is truly impressive about this addition to Dollywood is that it really is a themed land that stands to compete on almost the same level as Disney's Animal Kingdom with a large centerpiece tree and a lot of rides that are suitable for small children. In many of these theme parks, you don't get a lot of large children areas, but this one does it. This incredibly thrilling suspended roller coaster is the largest and fastest in its family of rides or dragonflies. Tree. The wildwood tree grows from a cluster of natural rock and boulders that offer a natural platform for performances throughout the day and night. The green leafy canopy is bedecked in butterflies with glistening wings dancing colorfully in the breeze. As the sun sets, the majesty of Wildwood Grove reveals itself. The land takes on a new wow. light. It's uh, 60 feet around, so that canopy is pretty huge. It's covered in uh, more than 650 uh, internally lit butterflies. Go to YouTube and you can see what the ride experience is. It does have a tunnel, as you'll see, and it does have a pond with uh, geysers that will interact eating around the entire land to allow uh, families to be able to stop, take a load off. There are a lot of things in the look and the feel of the park to, uh, uh, I did some interviews last week and said, it's really not Dollywood 2.0, it's more Dollywood 3.0, because this is the direction that we're going uh, in the additional, uh, as Dollywood was showing its construction, I thought this was a very interesting ride as it is basically the same exact design as the mountain gliders that we're getting here in Carowinds in the Blue Ridge Junction area. And just like Carowinds, Dollywood also has some amazing holiday events for the Halloween and Christmas timeframes. And this right here is Lisa Stryker, who is Carowinds Communication Director. She did a great job presenting all the different things that Carowinds is getting this year. Things are happening every day I walk out there, there's something new. And it's very exciting to see this happen. We're so proud of this new area. Of course, what is anchored? Part of Lisa's presentation included an overhead map of the future Copperhead Strike roller coaster here at Carowinds. She even gave a lot of different specifications for the ride, which a lot of ACE members like to hear. Let's listen in on all the different details that they go over here at Carowinds presentation. You'll see some themed items that have already been added out near the, where the queue lines will be and along the track. So keep your eyes. Inspired eye. by the majestic beauty and easygoing culture of the Blue Ridge Mountain region of the Carolinas. Designed to engage all five senses, the redesigned seven acre area will feature the new Blue Ridge Country Kitchen restaurant in the former Wings restaurant location. A fan favorite attraction is returning with a new theme. Have you ever wanted to soar like a bird? The reimagined mountain gliders offers an experience that's mighty close. Blue Ridge Junction will be anchored by the park's 14th roller coaster, Copperhead Strike, the Carolina's first double launch coaster. Jump into your getaway vehicle as you chase through a series of fast, tight, close to the ground maneuvers, including five head over heel inverters. by Mary to Carowinds. This five floor, 130 room hotel is expected to welcome its first guests later this year. 
It'll feature a pool, fitness center, outdoor seating area with a fire pit, suites, and a small bar, making it an oasis for your overnight visit. Its convenient location, adjacent to the park, will put guests close to the action, including Copperhead Strike. If you look around here, you can see that all the, all the steel track's up right now. Um, it's all set in place. We've actually started grouting uh, base plates, and uh, there's some right here close to us you can look at. Um, all the track is up, the side track's in, uh, the transfer track's in, side track, you can call it different things. Uh, to look and feel just like the, the theme, to fit the theme of the Blue Ridge Junction. So a lot of people don't know these mountain gliders have been around since the 1930s. They started out at Coney Island in Cincinnati and we're bringing them back. They've been kept alive all these years. Okay, my roadies, you know how I love food. Well, let me tell you, here at the winter warm-up, Carowinds put on an incredible display. Look at those wings right there, as well as the potatoes and collard greens and carrots. These are the types of items that they'll be getting at Blue Ridge Junction, which go phenomenal with the Copperhead Strike sauce. Carowinds definitely hit a home run with this spread here. We had plenty of soda, bottled water, and check out the plates. They had specific plates with Copperhead Strike on them. Carowinds executive chef also showed off the phenomenal desserts that'll be at Blue Ridge Junction, like the berry cobbler pie and the peanut butter and jam cookies. Oh yeah, here's my plate. Now the wings on the left are actually not gonna be served at Blue Ridge Junction. It will be actual rotisserie chicken, but the copperhead strike sauce is phenomenal. They're even gonna bottle it and sell it separately. Now they also have flatbread pizzas with chicken and roast beef and sausage. And then they also have roast beef sliders. It was amazing. Just about as amazing as checking out the Copperhead Strike construction site. Up above, you'll see the links where I did the live stream at the construction site. And it was great to see the coaster take shape. Now, since I was in Carowinds with nobody there, I had to film this. I've never seen a car or a truck drive through the park, but that was really cool. One of the great things about this warm up was just being able to go into Carowinds and just take it all in without the crowds. I highly recommend doing this event if you ever get the chance. Just as a reminder, I will leave the links in the description below for all of the amusement parks that presented for this year's ACE Winter Warm-Up. You can check out everything that's coming up at those parks this year. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little preview of the Winter Warm-Up here at Carowinds. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Until next time, my roadies. Laters.